Welcome to freetradingsystems.org lesson 2. Now in this lesson you're going to learn what separates good traders from bad. But I, again I just wanted to remind you that each lesson builds upon what you've done in the previous chapters. So if you haven't yet completed the assignment from lesson 1, which was pretty simple, I want you to stop this video now, go back, complete lesson 1 before moving on to today's lesson. So if you can continuing to watch, I'm assuming that you've already uh, done that lesson and that's really important and that's part of what separates good traders from bad. Now it's really difficult, I've had like so many clients that I've coached um, come to me from all different walks of life and it's quite difficult uh, to know whether or not a trader is going to be successful or not uh, before they actually start. Now I have a really good hit ratio as far as um, making the traders that I coach profitable but there are some that th slip through the gaps so I tried to start to do a lot of analysis uh, to find out what the difference was between good traders and bad and at the core of it it has to be psychology that's the conclusion that I keep coming back to and the reason is simple if you think about it like this if you have a perfect trading system um, and you gave it to two different people and said okay I want you to trade this system and they've both got the same trading system you're going to get vastly different re results from one trader to the next uh, because people interpret the rules differently and more importantly some people find it difficult to stick to a trading plan so at the core psychology, at the core of psychology, I think the most important thing is discipline. You you need the discipline to be able to follow your trading system, um, and, and that's part of of what the psychology is. And what makes discipline difficult is the emotion and what goes on in your brain. I'm talking about the fear and the greed um, that's you know so closely uh, entangled with trading because it's tied to money and people get very emotional by money and and once you start to get emotional about money you start to make bad decisions because you're not being disciplined about following your trading approach so you almost need to in a way detach yourself from this emotion and just start trading based on a set of rules um, just again to draw um, sort of close uh, analogies to um, running a business, if you think about very successful businesses, they don't run on emotion, they, they run based on you know, a set of rules and uh, making, sound uh, making sound decisions and trading is no different. So I suppose the real question that you need to ask yourself uh, is can discipline and, and psychology uh, be taught. There are a few different ways that you can learn it. Now I believe yes it can be taught. Uh, the problem is a lot of traders what they'll try and do is they'll let um, the, the market, um, no matter what market they're trading, they're going to let the market try and teach them that, that discipline that they need. But the way the market works is um, it, it, it will reward you not necessarily for taking good results. It's known as, as random reinforcement. Now I do talk a little bit more about that uh, just down below when you, you work through this lesson uh, but just I suppose to give you a small snapshot the market when you're trading a system um, let's say that you decide oh I'm gonna break the rules just this once and I'm not gonna follow my system um, the way the market works with random reinforcement is uh, sometimes you're going to be rewarded for that that bad action. You're going to be, you know, you might make a small profit uh, from not following your trading system. And in the and sometimes you will make a loss. So you're going to get mixed results. Sometimes you'll get re rewarded for um, not following your system, you know, by a small profit. And sometimes you'll get punished for not following your system by losing some money. But the difficulty comes as far as working it out in your head is concerned is that you're, you're getting rewarded for taking bad, um, a bad action. So you need to not let the market be the one that teaches you about psychology. If you leave it to the market, um, you, you're never going to learn the discipline that you need to, to follow your trading system. I believe probably the best way to learn psychology, that said, would be through 
basically training materials. It needs to be drummed into your head that you should never second guess your trading system. You should never break your trading rules. That's why you write your trading rules down so that, that you follow them and you get that discipline and, and nothing, you're unwavering, you're going to follow your system no matter what. Uh, and a lot of people have trouble doing that uh, because they don't necessarily have confidence in their system. And there are other ways to get confidence in your system, and, and you'll learn about that as you go through the freetradingsystems.org. But the first step we need to make sure is you need to get your psychology right and get it drummed into you that you need to follow your system. And I think the best book that really illustrates getting your psychology right is a, a book called The Way to Trade by John Piper. It's, it's got a foreword written by Dr. Alexander L. Elder, so you know that it is a, a good book. So I, I definitely think before moving on to uh, the next lesson, uh, get yourself a copy of uh, The Way to Trade, work through it, make sure that you understand the importance of following your trading system, and also as part of the the um, lessons that you have to do or the things that you have to do, just scroll down to the bottom of this page and you'll see as part of one of the little action plans that you have to do for this lesson um, is I want you to drum into yourself and, and you need to say it and mean it that you're going to follow your system no matter what. So once you've done that and you've purchased the way to trade, worked through that, then I suggest you move on to the next lesson and I'll meet you in the next lesson.